Hey guys, check this out. This is a mask from Quick Trip. It costs $4.37. I bought four of these damn things. Not today, but in the last few weeks. Why? Because I forget and leave my damn mask at home. I'm really pissed because this car, even though I've cleaned it, it still stinks. Not as bad, but still stinks. My mask that I normally wear will block the odor because it's sealed. This damn thing here, it don't seal. It don't even cover you. It, it blocks your nose, but it don't protect you. It protects other people. This is what it looks like. You probably say, well, it, it fits good. No, it don't. It does not. You pull it down, now your nose, it, I want something that's gonna hook my nose. Why don't they put a, like a little metal right here to keep it against your nose? Especially because it falls with my glasses when I breathe through it. But the good thing is, it'll keep you from, I mean, you nobody say anything because you do have a mask. But I'm just saying, damn. I mean, and the funny thing is, it fits, it looks like it would be a good mask. But it's not, because they didn't put the damn metal right here to keep it against your nose. All right, somebody asked me to film. I'm at the muffler. The car hasn't started working on yet, though. I'm going to get a cap put on, and if it has a resonator, I'm going to tell them to remove it. Uh, I don't know what kind of pipe muffler I can get put on it, but I'll worry about that later. Right now, I just want a cap put on. All right, guys, it does have a resonator up under it, and they're going to charge me 50 bucks to take the resonator off also. So it's going to be 320 plus 50. Was it 370? Uh, I don't expect it to change much, but I just like to see what it sounds like without the um, resonator. It's too quiet now. Anyway, I mean, you can't, you don't hear anything from that thing. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know what kind of muffler I might put on there. Uh, probably have to cut a hole in the rear valance because there's no place for a tailpipe, you know? I mean, there's no place for the tailpipe to come out. And I don't really want to bother cutting it open right now. But, um, man, I'm just going to see what it sounds like without the resonator. And I worry about the rest of the sound another time. Um, I don't know. I like to, I don't like real loud exhaust, but I like to hear the exhaust. Like by F-150 to me is just right. You hear it, but it's not loud. And I wouldn't miss my F-150 at all. It's, to me, it's perfect. Um, but anyway, check this out. A1 muffler in Jonesboro. Uh, this is the place you may want to come to, guys. It's uh, 195 Jonesboro Road, Highway 54, Jonesboro, Georgia. This guy's been here more than 20 years. I mean, he's been here for a while. It's any muffler. I mean, even if I'm in a hurry, I will wait until the weekdays to come to him. You know, luckily, uh, I was off today. Today is Monday. I mean, it's just no one as cheap as him. I mean, he does extremely good work. You know, uh, for example, some years ago, I needed a Calorie convert on my Tahoe. I went to like three different places. They all want to charge $800 to put Calorie converters. They don't want to cut out. Well, let me change that. They want $800. We we'll just say that. One guy, he wanted $800 because he didn't want to cut the converters out. He wanted to replace the whole pipe from the exhaust manifold to behind the Calorie converter. It's like one piece that you buy. That's what he claimed he wanted to replace. He claimed that it was that the light would not come off unless he did that. 
But anyway, I, I bought it to this guy. He changed both cats for like $360, $360, I think it was. The light never did come back on, and I didn't have any problems out of it. You know what I mean? When I sold my Tahoe, it had his same converters on here. Um, he don't... Uh, he done work on a, I had a, let me take this thing off. I had a Ford Explorer 92. This before I started doing YouTube videos. It had a, somehow the guy broke the crossover pipe up under the engine. And I came here, I think he wanted $40 to fix it, but he wanted me to leave it because he was backed up. And I had to go to work that day. So, yeah, I had to go to work like 2 p.m. or something like that. Well, anyway, I went to another muffler shop. They tried to charge $360 because they claimed they couldn't fix that pipe. They had to replace the whole exhaust system. And the reason they had to replace the whole exhaust system is it didn't have a muffler. The rest of the pipes were kind of rotted, but... All you needed was a crossover pipe. I ended up leaving my car here. I rented a car for two days. Rented a car for two days and still spent less than $120 to get the work done and for the rental car. And the other place won't charge $306. By the way, the other place is out of business. Good morning, how you doing? I need to crank up. All right, guys, I'm going to tell you what it sounds like. It's got a little sound. It's got a little rasp coming from the back. I guess I should put the um, the phone, the camera outside, but... Yeah, it's got a little rasp. And I heard a little popping. Well, I thought I did. Anyway, I'm getting ahead home. Alright guys, the car failed again. Still that same fail to car not ready. So what am I gonna do? He says drive us a month. A hundred, oh, they put the catalytic converter in. I drove it 109 miles. How freaking more do you need to drive it? A hundred, a hundred and nine miles. <sighs> Whatever, man. What's going on?
attitude, guess what? The Volkswagen passed the emission test. But guess what? I got fuel 117 miles ago, put the fuel cap on top of the damn car, and lost the damn fuel cap. But the man gave me a fuel cap to put on the truck car. Usually they charge you for it, but he gave it to me. So I told him I'm going to AutoZone to buy me a new one, and I bring him that one back. Because, I mean, I mean, he gave it to me? Oh, hell no, I can't I can't walk away with that. I gotta, I gotta return it. This is Dre, I'm, I'm so happy, this is Dre. Because, I mean, I was getting to think that something was wrong with the car. Oh, by the way, so if you get a 420, change your catalytic converter. Don't waste money to change the oxygen sensors. You don't need oxygen sensors.